no, no, no. Speak to solicitors. Produce the order. <laughs> it's been done for breaching the order. That's all I can give you. That means I don't have the court order. Yeah. Can't do any more. <laughs> Concealment, yeah, ten years. Can a court manager say I can't give you? What kind of answer is that? I can't give you. I can't give you. Oh, can't do any more. Well, he must confirm in writing. He, he can't give you. Tell him to confirm in writing. He can't give you. Oh, he can't confirm either. <laughs> so, so you want him to come and give evidence as a witness that he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Can't give you means he don't have it. Can't give you what I don't have. Look, the man is trying to be helpful, uh, George. He can't. He, he can't give you what he don't have. Mm. So that's that's what it boils down to. Hi. They give you some papers, but they haven't given you the, they haven't given you what you asked for. They haven't given you the lay of information. They haven't given you the sealed order, and they haven't given you the case management file. Plus, plus they give you some bonus. They told you they don't have it. They haven't got it. Right. But the case they've got on this paper is not what was addressed. I know because they that there is no genuine case number. They're just making up numbers as they the one on the probation letter is a whole a D number something. It's all they don't have nothing legit. Yeah. I think you probably got enough because the man told you. I mean, he tried his best. He's not going to admit that. Look, we're we're, we're making it. Fine, but he told you I can't give you. That means he doesn't have it. You yeah. understand?
Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because all the papers that that all the papers that have his name. I know. I, I it, we don't know if it's him because the papers are not signed, so those papers are not worth. They're not worth a carrot. Another one. <laughs> Is it signed? That's not signed. So uh, you know, it's 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 a sham document. Sham documents. No. Mm -hmm. No, 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 the people accept it because they get people get the lawyer. You hear they're telling you to get the lawyer. So if they can't give you, how are they going to give the lawyer? Or what are you going to discuss with your lawyer? Mm. Yeah, but these papers are not signed. They, you can't pay any attention. They don't have, don't have any value in law. They're not sealed, not signed. Yeah, that's not an answer. Yeah, that's choosing to remain silent. And he's the court manager. Uh -huh. And he's the court manager. I believe so. I believe so. <laughs> well, we're going to have to one I'm not going to take garbage from the. Well, well done for standing up, man. And you no, 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 you're no, no, going to inspire a lot of people because people don't realize the extent and also realize the power they have to just stand up and demand. Just demand. The, the documents and Where is the computer record? Where is the case management? It was dealt with. What does dealt with? So where's the record? So where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Put it in writing. Can you put it in writing?
where, where, where is it? Where is it? No, put it in writing. Tell him to put it in writing. No, <laughs> they don't. They're running a scam. <laughs> the court manager said he doesn't know what case management file is. So the entire court is operating illegally. Every document coming out of that court is a counterfeit. So tell him to put in writing. Just ask him to get write your note. Just tell him to write your note. He can't provide you stuff. Have nothing, nothing, and everybody I see is the same. Yeah, few one or two. Mm -hmm. It's violent, uh, and and the man that made the allegation, the man made the allegation against is a convicted pedophile. That's crazy. It's unbelievable. It's a good position of trust. Whoa. What's his name again? Greg Woods and his demented partner. Greg Woods. <laughs> He's on the sex offenders registered and the police are, and the police are model molly coddling him and taking false. You remember the case with um with um with um Richard and all the same car beach. My God. And Teresa, this crackpot at the head of the police game, she didn't know anything about the warrant. East Ridge Watford warrant. Me you put it out two days before that and you scam them. And you're know, scam them. That's where they got the original 47,000 or 80,000 false crime. I said, no, it's nothing there. Right. Mm. I'm going to buy for free things. I mean, you come give me. Two bits of non descriptive silly paper thing. He actually said to me, That's the case management. <laughs> <laughs> and then he told you they don't have it. Then later on, he told you he doesn't know what case management is. He doesn't know what it is. So, but he gave you something and said that was it previous a few minutes before. What's his court manager's name? Apparently, I just challenged him about the, uh, the Discord, Julian Vatic. Who's the justice clerk? I said, I've been getting email from this forger, McAllister, from 2014 and before. Now, that means if he's before that Julian Vatican, he must be the just, he must be not there for the last 10 years. He said he doesn't know, but he's getting this correct. He doesn't know anything, but he knows one he thing. Know he knows he's one thing. Him. You have a conviction, you have bail condition, you have all these things, but he can't show you anything. He knows. How did he know? He comes in his dream at night. <laughs> you, you, you know what? You know what? You know what? You, you just got to all your hands up when it comes to these people and they're, they're bare faced. Ten, nine, nine, but you're, you're catching them out, George. You're catching them out. She's sitting behind there. They would not dare to come out. And I will be calling out their name. You, to come out. you can call the names Katie Robinson. She's the alleged court manager. Now we have a new one. What's his name? This new one? I've been chasing her for nine months, ten months for some criminal thing from 2020. She would not even have been got to tell me that she's got it lying. What, what's, what's the name of this one who told you 
he, he doesn't know what case management is? Yeah, that's right. What's his name? He's Carl. Carl. Carl King. 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 Carl King. Carl King. Carl King. He is there, one of the court managers. So he's a court manager. He doesn't know what case management is. Oh, okay. You just have to look at the environment. You know what Katie Robinson told me one time? The other court, we don't know which one is which, but she said uh, she doesn't know who owns the building. And she's the court manager. And she said they don't have liability insurance. All of these guys behind that court are imposters. They're not the imposters. They're imbibing the lie and the criminality of the legal system. Paul Phillips of the SRA would not answer one email from not one. Mm. Say, Paul Phillips, <laughs> the SRA. All these things are, are jokers. They're just fencing the criminality. They, 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 well, these things must go in front of a jury for a trial by jury. Paul Phillips does not deal with these things himself. I thought, yeah. But it doesn't matter who, who is dealing with it, deal with it. But he's the chief executive. He, he bears the liability personally and perjury. They just believe they will never face a trial. Nobody, nobody will challenge. Nobody should challenge them. And they're using these fake court orders to collect millions from the billions from the public purse uh, that they they're doing as some kind of probation service, and they're all sharing the money and, and using your identity. This is identity theft. They're using your identity as the yeah yeah yeah, Sorry, yeah. the substance of it. British are good at it, uh, criminal activities for hundreds of years. Now it's finally, it's slowly catching up with them. Uh, crooks, just go and witchcraft and bewitch the whole bloody population and tell them they've got COVID, wear masks. All fic and Andy would say, fictional, legal fiction, and people are living it. But I say violence because they want to. With violence, with violence, yeah. <laughs> they put handcuffs on you, saying you breached 19 court orders. Yeah. How many times you've been arrested, George, on a warrant in your life? I would say in excess of 40. And how many warrants have you seen in your life, George? Not one. Zero. <laughs> Chris, Chris, that they got caught. Allegedly, allegedly, if you look at that one on the 13th of this month, they had a warrant. I think they don't know where it is. Uh, yeah. When I asked them, mm. admittedly, where is this warrant? Yeah. He is. He said they don't know. <laughs> Nobody can believe this unless you've been activist paying attention to these issues or yeah, fighting. No, it. Nobody can believe it. Yeah, it seems it's, it's far fetched. It seems far fetched. It seems far fetched. I don't know what, what's he going for. <laughs> These things Boy. are not fun. Allegedly, if, mm. it's a proper, if it's a real court and they're not committed for it, those things are there on my case file. How many times I'm no. going to turn up here and send emails and don't have them in trouble? And yet I've got these criminals sitting there telling me I've got a court order with a bit of paper and that's a court order. What? Yeah, it's a notice yeah. of a court order. Well, where, a notice of a court order, but where is the court order itself? Sorry? What's that? Hello? Hmm? Sorry, I didn't hear that. I'm saying they give you a notice of a court order, but so where is the court order itself? <laughs> <laughs> notice. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. This thing is so serious. You have to laugh, otherwise you just take it. You know. A notice of something that don't exist. A notice of something that don't exist. It, no, it's not. That's me. That's me. I already know that. So when I talk to him, I already know. He said you have to deal with that because now they're getting something before 2014 and his name's on it. So how come this, how come this, this 
But when when they go to get things, they take a long time to come back, eh? yeah. and, and then they come back with a piece of a uh, piece of uh, sham document. Yeah, they got to they got to do it, didn't they? They've got to. I don't know why it's Mr. Carl Kilsey will probably get the um, lose his pension and his job. <laughs> so you have to keep the light going, isn't it? and make it bigger and bigger, 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 because you're gonna hear a bigger one come Monday. Apparently, that reference we got today, yeah, yeah, is the same as the one that we've had before, the 0121. The reason why they make it that it's 0121 is a national number. The 0121 is a national number. Well, uh, whatever the explanation, how can a number change? I don't care about what it the explanation is. is. It's, 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 you know, you have to lie, you have to lie, because they do it. They say they've got the blueprint. That is a different reference, and that girl did not have that. Because I tell you what, that's the first time it came up. So they have to come up with an explanation. It's a national yeah. number. There is no way that circulated nationally. There is no way. So why didn't you put it on by deceiving me and saying, oh, it's a three, so why? It's wrong. It's, 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 it's fraud. Well, I'm telling it's. it's... No, no, they're not going to say it. it, it, it that's his explanation for that, which I know is a blatant lie. Yeah, yeah. Because if it was the case, the young lady would gave it this morning, she would have given us the same one. Why are you adding numbers to it or taking away from it? <laughs> if you take away numbers from it, then it's not the same. That's not called tampering with evidence. That's not called tampering with evidence. No, of course not. Mm. Idiot. You're like you can add a few digits to your national insurance yeah. number, it still be and okay. National. Mm. There is no way if I phone the court in Nottingham with it, I give them that number, National Probation Service in Nottingham, in Manchester, in Newcastle, they'd have that because this tampering and changing. Yeah. But it's so silly telling me the nonsense that it's because it's a national one. Oh my god. But they're so good at it that people are not gonna challenge me. Well they they wear you down, I call it the war of attrition. You know, they bully you to get a, a, a solicitor and, and the solicitor is never requesting these documents. I had a solicitor and I I, 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 I I insisted he get these documents and eventually he comes and he says we're professionally embarrassed we can't help you with it. <laughs> it's in writing A trial management. Okay. You have your say, So can they, can they give you a note? Can they give you a note for whatever he's saying? Where is the prosecution?
So where is the pro where is the prosecution for this beating and common assault? Oh, he understands. Can't do it. It's telling you to do it, and they can't put it in writing. <laughs> Can't comment. You can't comment. So the judge is hot. in the circuit, and he's a judge because you know he's a judge. He's using judge name, but he's not him himself. What do you call that? You also explained to me about that. One of my questions was that that would be a judicial complaint. I don't know if you've ever heard about this now. The judicial complaint. The judicial complaint. I'm sorry, this is not me. Sorry, this is somebody. I don't know about me. Who's this black? Who's even the leader? He's black. There's a lady who didn't even need to keep having to be black. She's a judge. He's black. You don't know who that is. You don't know nothing. You don't know very much. You know who Catherine Robbins is? You know who Catherine Robbins is? Yes, I do know she's my boss. She's your boss. Tell her I called since 18th of December last year. I've been looking for the court case. Yeah? From 2002 to 10. When? When? Yeah, these pedophiles forwarded me, sent me to prison. Yes, on false charges like they're doing now. I'm waiting for her, and I'm also waiting for Mr. Allen Bird, who I believe is now disappeared. Where's he gone? You don't know. You don't 
don't know. But he works in the same building as you. You know who Alan Burns is, don't you? You don't know who he is. Prosecution. Where is it? We're not at all. There's a serious thing, a serious thing with the police here, yeah? Now, I'm being allegedly brought to court by a convicted paedophile, Greg Wood from Two Beach Park, down to Women, and yet the police are shielding him and taking false allegations of me. A convicted paedophile, Paul Beach. Remember that. You know. You know what I forgot. He is a convicted paedophile. And I know that, and I can say his name without an accent. If he was there to his face, and court, when that fake judge was there, he finished his so-called evidence, and I didn't want to pass it to the man, and swore at me as a lesson for The judge said, that's what you took off the That's what I was saying. Is that what they were on the day's trial? Because on... I told the judge of his name. Oh, no, you wouldn't know. But you, but, you, but you know, your conscience, and you know what he has told you for. You know that. Oh, yes. you know it, and I'm not going to say anymore. He knows. Accessory Section Eight A Better Than Accessories Act, eighteen sixty one. But in uh, whether he he knows because he told you he doesn't have a, a prosecution, he doesn't have case management record, and he doesn't have a sealed order. Listen, man, you guys, you, you guys did well. It's good, you, it's good your wife came with you in support. Uh, fantastic. And they had no answers today. No, one soul. Mm. Robinson Barry now missing. Alan Burns, he doesn't know. Miss Black is the legal manager of the legal team. I know here. He doesn't know who she is. That is the manager. This is almost a chance. This is a bit of a Yeah. Every day we get this. Yeah, listen, man, you did well. You did well. Look, but so hard to fight. You went to the probation. They put on their record that you were you were disruptive, but they didn't give you the court order. They they are um, enforcing and collecting public funds with. Listen, I'm gonna see that judge on Monday. They're gonna be hell. They're gonna have to keep me because there's no way I'm gonna take his garbage. It's true. I've checked. He's not a judge. They're using his name. Yeah. About yeah. That? We're getting a lot of that coming through now. When people ask to identify the judge, they they're not they, who they say. It's unbelievable. I went back and asked nobody to give me the details. Can't say we can't discuss it. The judge took a little bit of public trial, and he said he can't tell me. Mm. I mean, what is this? Wow. Oh well the police told you they the police told you there was no evidence of any breach or anything as well so oh. well, well i'm telling you uh, 20 breaches yeah they said there is no evidence they put in writing as well so that that can't hurt your case uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, you've done enough. You've done enough. You've done enough. No, no, we're just, we're just going to the probation woman now. Uh, yeah, you ask her for the order that she's enforcing. Simple. You ask for the order and you ask her who, who are sending these letters with no signature. Well, obviously, obviously, it's in the same building and you know I'm coming up. Yeah. They're not going to get away with it. 
No, okay. Well, you can call me when you're there. I, uh, you know, I, I'll, I'll put it on Zoom, you know? No, no, leave it on because we're going there now. Okay. There. All right. Well, you let them know the court. The, the court manager, Carl, or what Carl, Carl King shit told you. Yes. There was no no court order. So have what have they got? Simple. No, no, I know. So he told you, George, you're not listening to me. He uh, he already affirmed by his words and actions there is none. So you have to tell this to the probation. Carl Kingship just told me there is no such order. Your man, what's his name, Mr. Sud, told me there is no court. Can you tell me what you have? Yeah, that's it. Don't, you don't no need to extend the argument. Yeah, I know, I know. Just keep I it know. simple. I need to hear something about probation. I can see somebody about that. It's a game of life and death, man, in prayer, slavery. They're just, okay. it's slavery, but they go, we have a court order. So it's not slavery because we have a court order. Show me the court order. Oh, we don't have the court order. What it's just slavery. Get, what did the guy say? What did they get? Your friend said, Molly said, it might take mind from what? <laughs> Mental slavery. <laughs> Yeah. You may not be yourself, but if I'm actually in relation, then you would have something there. Is Mr. Sue not there? Using you now. <laughs> Trick in the book. Accuse you of something.
You're not helping me. He's asking Kiki maybe, to call. Maybe, 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 this is abusers, man. This is the letter that the post office confirmed didn't go through the postal system. They're abusing the Franken machine. Backdate the letter. No name, no signature. The one who don't want to give her name. You're talking to public officials who don't want to identify themselves. What's this all about? When you got a lot to hide, my friend, then you do also. First thing you have to do is identify yourself. Otherwise, you can't take the wages. Yeah, well, not to mention the backhander. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I came here on the 22nd. I spoke to this gentleman. Oh, it's not Mr. Sudi. It's not him. And did you send me a letter? Did you send me a letter dated? I don't really want to come here. Oh, he's the manager. So he missed me. So he missed me. I. So you sent me a letter dated 11th of October to my home address. George Carter. Yeah, just stay calm. I just need to match his name. Yeah. She's Miss Lawrence. She's the guy who stood up behind her. I don't know why it's stood up. Why did she go about? She wanted to finish. She said she's the manager. She said she's the manager. So, manager. so you're at the probation now. They're in the same building as the court. They're in the same building as the court, yeah? Same building upstairs, upstairs. The office of the court yeah. So between the, pro be between the probation and the court, none of them can give you the order. Yeah. Yeah. Did you send me a letter? Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's such a difficult question. Did you send me a letter? It's, it's, so, it's so difficult. We're not talking about that. We want to know a copy of the order. It makes you a very bad person to ask this question, apparently. No, he did not. I was there. I got his name. He actually answered a few of the Andrews cards. What am I speaking to? Who am I speaking to? I said, you've got nothing in Carter. What's your name? That's what he said. Think what I'm saying. It's like a secret because they're hiding so many shams. And lies and delusion that they can't even give you the name. She, 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 she came down, Mr. Rose, very afraid you come up to me. She knows. She already knows. But, but their letters have no name and no signature. Well, that's it, it's unbelievable. Well, yeah, yeah, because I think the problem is for that when you just have to get to another letter and another letter and just get bigger and bigger and then you just got to pass it. She knows the letter was there. The young Asian girl came there and she had to protect. Um, I see that. Can did you send me a letter? I don't think so. Did you send me a letter? Oh, you're not trying to help. I'm not, I don't want yeah. To you're a bad person. You you're a bad person now because you asked. And she started getting high. So like, I'm asking something which is fictitious. It's more that you've got the letter, not me, that's why. I'm George Carter, you're Max, Max, Max Burrell. No, 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 it's not, it's not, I'm just thinking about it, it's okay. Then you send me a letter dated the 11th of, uh, to my home 
We don't know. When was it posted? No, 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 no. I'm going to go for the letter. Mike Sparrow. I'm a curious letter. There's more than that. When was the letter posted to me? I don't want to have this conversation this way. I don't want to have this conversation. I don't want to have this conversation about this. who sent this letter. Did you send it? Fraud, fraud, fraud. Yes or no? So what are you enforcing? Let him give you a let give him in writing. Give me a note. I don't need a court order. Give me a note. Give me a note. I don't need a court order. You don't have a court order. No, 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 I'm not gonna stop because that is what it is. You don't have a court order, you have nothing to enforce. Well, that's up to you. That's up to you. Because you know that letter was not sent by you. That's why you came out there with whatever. And Mr. Burrell, when I asked you to send a letter, you said you were going to send a letter. Yes. Well, that's what you said. Yes. 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 What would help us is you get the bloody order <laughs> or make a crime report. <laughs>
So George, just stick to the order. Where is the order? It's a notice, it's not an order. Beautiful. <laughs> notice. A fake notice as well, because it's not even a legit notice, not being signed and stuff. Woo! This is going to educate a lot of people, a lot of people. He's a supervisor, Max Borrell. Max Borrell, the supervisor, so he should know better. Is he a supervisor or he's just fronting a, a massive quota of the scam? A lot of people being jailed and uh, different companies milking the public purse with uh, court orders that they don't have, that we don't have money for uh, youth clubs and uh, old people's homes and um, essential services. That's where the money's going, pay court orders. It's a feeding frenzy at the moment. I've never been served with any proceedings issued by the court. Amen. The decision was by the court. No, 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 no. I'm going to just go to the point because see the point that matters. People start from those with matters. What? 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 What matters? What matters was the fraudulent judge Johnson, and he's not a judge, made the decision after hearing the paedophile victim, and he's a paedophile, he's a paedophile, and the doctor said to myself, he's a credible, credible witness, the clerk is prepared, but I gave him some information. The fraudulent CPS prosecutor did whatever, and she's a fraud. So all this I already know. So what you was doing on the eighth, because you're pre-tested to court, you have to see the information first. That's what the judge said. I know, that's what the judge said. Where's the order? Because I already know the probation is the And the judge, he said it was the, 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 the 11th of, of November. We then found out yesterday when we found the show. Yeah, yeah, it's one of them. And it's taken. So, so what we're not doing, we need happened. to find out. So we're coming to what happens. Is on the night, regardless of this, on the night, where is the order? He's telling you stuff on the order he doesn't have. Where is the order? Where is the court order? So where is the court order?
you would have. That's a new law, you know, the law of would have. You would have seen my colleague. That means there is a court order. So where is it? The second attempt, that means it's a second breach. They send you to jail. It's a lie. Yeah, where is the order? Oh, the first time, you know, it's the order. You, you, you just stick to the order. Where is the order they're enforcing? Because he, the court manager told you there is no order. So where is the order they're enforcing? They want this thing cancelled right now. Yeah. You stick. He said, blah, blah, blah. Where is the order you're enforcing? Either you get it or you cancel this harassment because the court manager told you there is no order. End of story. You stick. Stick to the order. That's it. Just stick to the order. He said, when there is no uh, blah, 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 we get the order later. So, George, George, yeah, yeah. the court manager told you, yeah, Mr. Carl Kingshit, that there is no order. So stick to it. You tell him, where is the order you have? I want this thing cancelled. Don't get into the sidetrack. They're trying to drag you down all kind of sidetrack. Yeah, you can't have an order because the court manager told me he, he, there is none. Yeah, end of. How can you breach an order that don't exist? Yeah. Just stick to the court order. Don't get the sidetracking you now. So you stick to it. It's very hard to do. It's not easy. You stick to it because they're highly trained. Most of these are lawyers and all that. They're doing these jobs. No, no, don't, don't, don't go all that. Just say I'm still, I'm still. You haven't seen the order. The court manager said there is no order. Just talk like an idiot. Stick to the order. Yeah, order, order, order. If somebody is recording your conversation. All they can hear is this man is asking for the order 1,000 times. That's it. Nothing more. Don't bring nothing more into the equation. If there is an order, I will comply. If there is no order, you end this harassment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shielding her because she's the one uh, who, who don't want to identify herself. They're doing it with every single customer, not just you. Yeah. Doing it with every, they're highly trained and practice, they're black belting. Yeah. yeah. What was his name? Carl. Max, Max Burrell. Max Burrell. Yeah. He's the actual CPS manager. He's the what? He's the manager of the CPS office. He's the manager. Uh, uh, oh, he, <laughs> the CPS. They don't have a prosecution, never mind an order. <laughs> 
Just stick to the order. If there is an order, I'm happy to do whatever you, the order says. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm happy to do what the order says. If you don't have an order, cancel this matter. No, he said there was no order. He said there was no order. So where is the order? Where is the order? Why having all this conversation for? Oh, well, <laughs> what's all this conversation? I don't care. Show me the order. I'll comply all day. I'm a law binding man. Yes, yes, the envelope. He's asking for the envelope. Wow. There's the envelope. The post office says this reference number 14107490909 did not go. Oh, I did not share the screen. Yeah. Post office says this letter did not go to the official Royal Mail. So, uh, <laughs> apart from the backdating issue. No, but never mind you, George, him, not you. The probation must have the order. Oh, I'm going to scream. How hard it is to ask, man, if, have you got the order? How hard is that? Stick to it. Come on. So where is the order you got from the... Am I missing a trick? Is it so hard? to stick to the guns and insist on the court order. Do you know how many people can't do it? Can't. can't. It's really hard to do. Get all this evidence, where's the order? You get a lot of information. You don't need nothing. You need an order to enforce and collect your money from the public first. And you don't have one at the moment. George, 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 I'm going mad here. I know. Calm down. Just say to the man, so where is the order you're enforcing and collecting your money with? I want to see that what the order says because I don't know how, to, I can't stop talking when I'm talking, my friend. No, 
I want to know. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. George. Stick to the order. I I want to see what the order says I must do. I don't want anybody's notes and mistake on other people's file. I want the order. How are you going to collect your money if you don't have the order? Can't, is that hard to stick to? No, 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 it's not. I have you don't tell him I don't have the order. You tell, you tell him, ask him, where is your order that you're enforcing on me? Just mm. stick to that. Don't do nothing else. Okay. All these other things are waste. Yeah, it's two minute job. He said, you don't have it. He said, could you just write me a note? You don't have the order, blah, blah, blah. And I go home. Okay. And save your phone battery. Listen, we're going to go because the battery's dying in second But just ask him, either, either you give me the order, sir. I'm busy. I have business to do. Either you give me the I'm order. Give me a note. You don't have it. Every... I'm going to come back and request that tomorrow. No, no, do it now. Oh. Rubbish. Probably true. Probably, true. probably true. Probably not true, but you want to take your percent on that. Is there anybody else there? Is there anybody else there? Okay, so all you can say, you, you listen, George, all you can say now, you turned up and they, they were not able to, they, they confirmed they don't have the order. Yeah, he has all these other things, but he don't have the order. That's fine. So oh, you, yeah, yeah. the court manager says he don't have the order. And, and Max Burrell says he don't have the order. He has all of the other blah, blah, blah. <laughs> End of story. Yeah. Know, all you have I to know. do, ask him, write me a note. You don't have the order. Thank you very much. I go about my business. Okay. All right, man. Well, well done, man. You're an incredible guy. And it's nice your wife is there. Yeah, all right, oh cheers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Probation. I had, I'm just going to finish this quickly with my own case. Um, I had the similar experience. I had the fight, it took me two years. But here it is, can benefit a lot of people. You don't have to take two years. Let me have what I had from the probation if I can pull it up. Um, um, let's just have a look. Let's just share screen quickly. Um, boom, boom. This is my probation. I'm from the solicitor of the probation. Thank you for your response. I confirm that the T number and we have on record. I cannot find any sealed order in this case. Oh, that's George's case, one of the cases. But um, on my end with the probation, it was the same. No sealed order. No. Um, so it's just a big, serious corruption and organized crime by public officials, your MPs on it, the council, the police. The police told George just last week, there is no evidence of anything. So they put it in writing as well. Um, mail fraud, every crime you can imagine. And they seem to have the, the image of authority and innocence and righteousness i don't know how that is working but it's partly to do with the media but now we have uh, social media so people can i mean you know blockchain like library odyssey and that sort of thing uncensored you hive people can publish stuff at least if it has less audience but it's there in the public domain god bless we're going to put a link on this video, how to request your court file and your order and whatever, and uh, save you wasting years of your life and tons of your money with bent solicitors who will never ask this question 
and you will never be free unless you ask this question. Thank you very much. Goodbye.